Uh, I here's what I, well, I picked that Seven Mary Three song because that was always uh, Craig's. Uh, whenever I felt like Craig needed a pick me up during the show, I would blast that Seven Mary Three coming out of break. Cumbersome, and he, right? Cumbersome, right? yeah. Then he would get excited about it and. But um, yeah, so so I kept hearing that Craig might be released early. And this had nothing to do with coronavirus, believe it or not. It was, uh, I guess he'd completed a bunch of programs while he was in prison that allowed him to uh, get out early. So I kept, he, you know, I was going back and forth with him on email. He would say, yes, I'm getting out. Then maybe not. You know, it was kind of going back and forth and it was kind of up in the air the last time I had emailed with him. And then uh, he called me yesterday from the car on his ride home. Oh, you got a phone call. Look I at got you. a phone call, Jerry. So now, right. now I want to know this because now I'm going to be insulted. All right. So I oh, did no. I, I did not know. I figure he's been away for a year. Yeah. I texted him. No idea if this is your number anymore, but blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Did not get a response. Is it still his number? It is not. Okay. He called me from his son's cell phone number, which I have in my phone. So oh, all his, right. his son's name came up as a phone call. I was like, huh, maybe this is some news on Craig. And it was Craig. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. I I'll be honest. The, it's funny. Uh, not funny. It's not funny at all. It's interesting. It's hilarious. I remember the day that he was, you know, convicted. Even though it was kind of like you knew it was coming, it still was. I don't say she wasn't shocking, but I know she just had this feeling of of sadness. I guess is probably yeah. the best way to put it. And then yesterday, when I saw it, because I had emailed back with him, back and forth with him too, a little bit. And, you know, same similar type of deal that, hey, you never know, blah, I'm doing this, it's possible. But we were always kind of like, man, that's a little short to think that this summer, that's pretty quick. Yeah. And then the last email I had with him was last week, and he just said, you know, fingers crossed, something good could be coming up down the pike. I didn't think he meant in a week. Yes, me neither. I mean, and so when I saw the uh, the breaking news thing pop up, I'm going to be honest, I was, I, was, I was thrilled for him. Absolutely thrilled for him. Breaking news. Yeah. And so then I tried to, what I thought I would do is I thought I would annoy people on Twitter. So I found the uh, cocky looking photo of Craig. I did see what you posted. And yeah, I tweeted it. Funny. I just wrote, what's up, Spank? <laughs> and uh, so. What kind of reaction you get from that? Oh. <laughs> hmm. Well, Craig is a bit of a polarizing figure, Jerry. Well, I so know I, that. Probably got half of, hey, good for you, and half, uh, 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 you know, treating him as if he was released after he murdered people. So it was really ran the gamut of uh, of support and good for you. But it was pretty to, split. Like, I would not expect it, it to be split. 100%. And he's right. It was pretty split support yeah. and, you know, drop dead. Yes. Got it. You, sir, die. It was some of that. <laughs> It's <laughs> funny. Craig was, was always a polarizing figure, though, Jerry. <laughs> we do know that. Absolutely. Yes. So uh, he that. is out, and he actually got the very bo- he got the bottom of the back page of the paper today. I saw in the New York Post. So baseball is back. Boys of Summer, whatever you they use there, the classic right, was sure. the main part, and then Craig was on the bottom. Very interesting. Very then it interesting. says he it says is Craig gonna work at WFN? If he thinks he's taking the five to six shift, <laughs> he's got another thing coming. We've got that on lockdown. Things have uh, changed oh, we, since we you left. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, we, we talked about it yesterday that it was uh, right on the podcast. Was it yesterday or two on days the ago? That it was the day after Father's Day was the year. Yes, yeah, so, so he did a year. It, it, I, and I will say, because... The two of us have had that conversation, too, in the last six months, that when he would talk about, well, I'm teaching this program, I'm doing this, and this is going to cut down this time, and you'd you you know, you'd be like, boy, this math, I don't, I don't know where he's getting this math from. Yeah, but yeah I didn't <laughs> well, know how you know he was. what? He had a beat on it. He yeah, did. he did. Now, I watched, um, I had been watching Jersey Shore, where Mike, the situation, also uh, went to prison, very similarly to like the white-collar uh, uh, crime prison that Craig went to, a similar prison. Right. And when the situation got out, Jerry, he was ripped, muscular, working out. I don't think Craig worked out much in prison. Well, I think, but I thought... He walked. He did not jack up. He is not coming out all musculared up, tanned. See, I thought when he started this, I thought he had an entire workout program he began. I'm not saying he he kept doing you it. You know he kept he would start workout what programs. What else are and you doing? Stop them. That's what I said. I would have come out jacked. I would agree. I would think you're doing push-ups non-stop to kill time. 
Unless there were scary guys in the gym, then I would be like, mm. but you do. But to do push-ups, mm. listen. If you're in your cell, what what are you possibly doing other than reading? push-ups? Right, and reading. I he became think... a voracious reader. I'll tell you that. Well, you have to. I mean, again, I don't oh. know what else you're doing. You can sit there and stare at the ceiling. Uh, that's a like, fair point. I'm bored at home on a rainy day because I hate watching television. Yeah, I really do. I, I for whatever reason, and I don't know why, the idea of binge watching something to me makes my skin crawl. I don't, and everybody does, and I get it. it. But to me, it bother. I feel like I'm just wasting time. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I should be doing something more productive. Well, when you're in there, there's nothing else to do. So you, right. I, I would think you're reading and you're you're exercising. Oh, I'd come out so muscular, Jerry. I mean, wasn't in one email? Didn't he say that he they had, they had dinner at three p.m.? Yeah, I would be like an old age same, home. Yeah, I'd be on the same schedule. Yeah, right, it'd be perfect for you. Three p.m. You'd be dinner, jacked, and you'd be right along your same uh, nutritious schedule. I'd be doing curls, Jerry. Breakfast at five, lunch at ten, dinner at three. Although Lights out what, at seven. What I don't understand when some of these guys come out jacked up, the prison food has got to be terrible. And you know how much nutrition is a factor in whether you bulk up or. You know what I mean? Like it is, but it seems I like think the food in there sucks. I think if you go to the extreme though with the exercising, and as long as you're getting your daily minimum requirements, which yeah. I'm sure they are. You're right. They're not on the paleo diet or the keto diet. Right. But I do think that they're getting at least the the baseline of what you need um, for somewhat uh, of your nutritious goals. And then if you're just, you know, focused on your push-ups and your yeah. sit-ups and whatever else you might be doing, mountain climbers and burpees, I think you're going to rip it up because you're going to lose weight for sure, you would think. I would I think so. I can't imagine... And at some point, I'm sure we'll talk to him. Well, you did yesterday. I can't imagine that there's, you know, Entenmann's chocolate frosted donut night in there. There are not, unfortunately. <laughs> right. So they don't allow know, that. I don't see how anyone inside, as they would say, can consume 4,000 calories in a day. Yeah. So you should lose weight and you should kill some time by exercising. Doesn't surprise me. Or sometimes guys come out of there and they they come out a lawyer. Like they're like, oh, I went to law school. Well, he was only uh, he was only in for a year, but you know, some guys when they like go in for a long time and then they get out they're like oh i have a law degree now i went to law school while i was in prison can you do online schooling from uh, from prison i don't know i'd come out a lawyer jacked up or frail. like a muscular lawyer you'd be a muscular lawyer <laughs> that's right jerry scene. i'd come out in my suit but like so muscular that you wouldn't even know and uh, i'd be ready to be a lawyer the only problem with you is, well, although you did get into the push-ups for a while. Uh, yeah, then it you, started hurting my hernia. Like, you would miss the curls. <laughs> yeah. Like, that I, would be your problem. I've done no exercise. All I do now is walk this dog. That's my only exercise. Yeah, but you're probably also walking 10 miles a day now. Uh, we, go, we go five to seven miles a day. Okay. I mean, you do that consistently. Oh, you're yeah. Doing, you're doing quite well. Is yeah. that, so seven miles, are you doing, what, are you doing 20,000 steps a day? No, 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 no. Between like 10 and 15. Okay. I had one day last week I did two. Two steps? <laughs> 2,000. Oh. <laughs> two steps. Come on. It's like he walked. I'm getting out of bed. <laughs> I do more than that getting up to go to the bathroom every night. <laughs> I do find that, I, tra- that I, I strap this watch on now no matter where I'm going so that, that my steps count. <laughs> yes. You want credit. I want credit. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. I, last yeah. night, it's funny because we had we had our first baseball practice last night for the first time in three months. And so we got, we came home, and I had to go take the garbage out. And because when you're on practice, you're on the field for a couple of hours, and those are always, like, really good numbers um, and very active and whatever. So I grabbed my phone to take the garbage out. I said, I said, sorry, I know this looks weird. I'm like, I want credit for these <laughs> steps, though, because I'm yes. getting 12,000 tonight. I want so, these steps. Yes. You know, because you know why? There's nothing to do, obviously, with your health and well-being. But when you look back, you want to see what your levels were and where you're at and what right. days are bad, what days are good, and you can kind of chart what it is. So I will make sure I get every last step in. So I'm that's with funny. you. What kind of, what kind of watch? Is the Apple Watch you I have wear the for Apple that? Watch, yeah. Got it. Do you talk to that? I don't. You do not. Okay. You text from it. No, the only thing I'll do sometimes is I'll uh, I can check I the can, time. I can check, <laughs> have this thing called the clock on it. It's awesome. <laughs> check the time. Check my steps. Uh, if Gina calls, I can take the I could take a call from the watch, Jerry. Right. So you do talk to it then. I do. Yes. Yeah. I don't talk like I don't ask it like a Siri questions. You know. Right. But you will. That's what I meant. I meant do you talk to it, meaning a phone call. Yes. I think that's kind of neat, actually. No, I'm surprised. Like when I talk to my Amazon devices, 
the dog doesn't look at me weird. Like she doesn't know what I'm, you know, what I'm talking to it to play music and stuff. You're talking to your wrist with this. Yeah, but like she has no, she doesn't look at me like, why is this guy talking out loud? And he doesn't appear to be like even now, like I'm talking. She's not looking at me like I'm talking to her. So how does well, she? She's know gotten when used I'm, to it. But how does she? So now she never knows when I'm talking to her. Or if I'm just talking to myself. Right. Again, she's gotten used to living with a weirdo. A, but she doesn't know better because you're a kook. That's right. right. She, she has no idea. You're a crazy man. All right, 25 in front of six. Uh, we didn't get to the Bubba Wallace story. We will take care yes, of we that will. next. And we've got some other stories as well. It's a Wednesday. Boomer and Geo at 6 o'clock on The Fan.